We did our project on the data analysis of river variability. This project analyzed how the pH, conductance, invertebrates, and water clarity vary between the Buffalo River, Cheyenne River, and Wild Rice River around Concordia campus in the Fargo-Moorhead area. We believe that this research is important to understand the relationships, if found to be present, between invertebrate count, pH, conductance, and water clarity to further preserve the land around the water. The rivers around us here at Concordia compose a lot of rich diversity of organisms, so preserving the habitat for these organisms is very important. We had two hypotheses that we were testing. Our null hypothesis was that the pH conductance, invertebrate count, and water clarity do not vary by river. Our alternative hypothesis is that the pH conductance, invertebrate count, and water clarity do vary by river. We started by collecting written observations of the rivers that we went to and recorded the habitat and condition of the land that was surrounding the river. In regard to our methods, we kicked up the ground to create debris and then a scoop net was used for one minute straight. We used an invertebrates guide to identify what kind of invertebrates we found. Water was collected in bottles and a conductance meter was placed into the water. A small current was sent through the water to measure the electrical resistance. Water was collected in a glass jar and a paper pH strip was dipped in into the glass to record the pH of the water. A clear sechi tube that contained a weighted disc was filled with water to the top and water was released from the tube until we were able to see the checkered disc or screw at the bottom. The results we collected showed that invertebrate count and pH did not vary significantly between rivers, with p-values of approximately 0.42 for each. Conductance differences were found to be statistically significant between rivers, with a p-value less than 0.01. Water clarity differences were also s significant, with another p-value of less than 0.01. The relationship between these values are shown on the graph in our poster, along with the statistics. Two of our findings were significant because they showed a strong difference between rivers, but two of our findings were not significant because they did not show a strong relationship between rivers. Because of this, no concise conclusions could be made from the data we collected.